Hi everybody, my name is Gora and for those who don't know me, I was an exchange student during the year 2015-2016 in the United States. And I know it's about that time, you have probably already left for your host country or you're probably going to be leaving soon for your exchange year. And uh, since uh, during my year I've collected a lot of tips and uh, there are a lot of things I wish I knew or I wish I had listened to. I just want to share with you some of the best tips to live the best year of your life. The first one is what everybody tells you. So do not have expectations and do not prejudge. That's actually so important, although it's kind of underrated. But if you do not have expectations, you're just not gonna be upset. And uh, that's kind of great, I think. Because you know, if something happens and you're not expecting that, you're just gonna be taking it as a surprise. So you're just gonna be happy and blessed about it. But if you're expecting something that doesn't happen, you're just gonna be upset and sad about it and you're just gonna be thinking about it a lot and it's just not gonna be great why would you do that? <laughs> so do not prejudge, do not say this club is boring, those people are losers just because you're gonna be losing opportunities like I remember one of the best things I've done was joining theater like that program was like the best thing that has ever happened to me like i met the best people ever in that group and i mean people may think that theater kids are kind of weird but they're really funny <laughs> they're like the best people to hang out with because they're always laughing they're always singing and always dancing and uh, they're just like amazing if you're watching this video and you are in my theater program i really love you like so much and i'm missing you so much and do not be afraid to talk when you first arrive. I'm telling you, I was really shy and introverted when I first went to America. But then I became super extroverted and uh, super actually confident about myself. That, you know, thinking about that, I see a complete different person. Do not be ashamed of your accent. Do not be ashamed to ask. Uh, uh, hey, what's that? Can you please repeat? Because that's normal. Having an accent is completely normal. Everybody has one. Also, if you're American, you have an accent from the south or from the north or from the west coast. And you just have a foreign accent, which is actually alright. And know that things with your host family may happen. It's not hard just for you, it's hard also for them. And sometimes you do not consider that. But as you don't know them, they don't know you. <laughs> And sometimes getting to live together with somebody you don't know is hard. I think actually it's kind of always hard. Try to see things from their point of view, try to talk to them as much as you can. And there's something I wish I did at first because it was really hard for me and I really kind of didn't consider that. But also know that some things and some situations especially are bigger than you. And uh, if you do not feel comfortable, if you talk, if you try to solve it, if you try to work it out but it doesn't work out, do not think that your experience is ruined because of that. Changing your family is not, you know, a tragedy. It happens. Pretty much almost all the exchange students I know, they change their host family. And it's not because their host family was super bad, they were super bad. It's just because some people just cannot live together or some situations just doesn't make you feel comfortable. And that's alright. <laughs> Whenever you have a problem, talk to somebody. Do not, you know, keep things for yourself because sometimes you cannot work out everything by yourself. Talk to your organization, talk to an adult, talk to a teacher, talk to a friend. Um, and uh, whenever you feel down, do not stay in your room crying because that's just not going to solve your problems. What I used to do that really actually made my day better, when I was just down, my friend was just like, hey, what about grabbing an ice cream, let's go and get some Starbucks. Uh, just stay together, just hang out for an evening. That's just gonna make you feel better. And it actually did. Spend time with your host family when you're homesick. Spend time with your friends. Just hang out. And uh, also, if you want to talk to somebody that really can understand you, talk to an exchange student. And I remember I was really blessed about it because exchange students are actually the only people that can understand what you're going through. It's not your family at home, it's not your friends at home, it's not people that actually you know are not living your experience and although your experience is unique and all the exchange students um, actually experiences are unique it's like we're kind of tied together because we all go through the same things and uh, I used to talk to exchange students so much and they really helped me and last but not least this is the best and biggest advice tip that I can give you is 
you make the difference always remember that is your attitude is uh, your real things that are gonna be making the difference I know there are bad days I remember my first day of school that was a tragedy I just went home and cried because I didn't know anybody I felt kind of alone I felt homesick uh, I sat by myself at lunch and that was bad trust me uh, that was really bad but the next day I was not grumpy at school I just was not in a corner by myself I just had a big smile and uh, I tried to talk to new people because there were plenty of people I didn't know and uh, if you're positive and if you're open to everybody people are just gonna be friendly with you and you're just gonna be making friends and things are gonna start happening so those were my tips, I really hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please, please, please give a thumbs up. And uh, you can actually watch my other English videos, I'm gonna be putting them somewhere here. And please subscribe to my channel, I'm just gonna be making more uh, traveling videos, um, exchange student videos, whatever actually comes to my mind. I really hope you like it, and goodbye! <laughs>